Hello everyone, welcome back to TradeSmart. Today we are going to test a strategy requested by one of you through email. This strategy is set to have 70% win rate with a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio, which means a 20% gain on the account after 100 trades. After that, we will look what entry method works better, one trade at a time, or entering on every buy and sell signal. This was another request from you through comment. So if you have any idea, feel free to share with us by commenting down below or sending me an email. And now, let's get right into it. For this strategy, we will need three indicators. The first one is going to be the parabolic SAR. Type in parabolic SAR and it's going to be a built-in. The second one is going to be the MACD. This one. And the third one is going to be the exponential moving average this one. First, we are going to set the exponential moving average to a 200 length. And I like to set the style on green. I am also going to change the color of the parabolic star to white, but you can leave it as it is. We will leave the inputs as defaults. So for a long entry, we will need the price to be above the, above the 200 EMA. We need a cross up on the MACD and we need the parabolic SAR to be below the price. Let's look at this candle. We have the price above the 200 EMA. We get a cross up on the MACD, but the parabolic SAR is above the price, not below. So in this case, we are going to wait for the parabolic SAR to go under the price. It happens on the next candle. We will look down to the MACD if it's still in an uptrend. And we see that we had the cross and we're still in the same trend. So it's going to be a good entry. We are going to put the stop loss to the parabolic star. And we're going to target one to one risk to reward ratio. As you can see, it hit or take profit, so it's a winner. Okay, let's look at another example. Price is still above the 200 EMA. The MACD is trending down, so we will need to wait for a cross up. As you can see, we get a cross up on this candle. Price is above the 200 EMA and the parabolic star is below the price. So it's a valid wrong entry. We set the stop loss to the parabolic star and we're targeting one to one risk to reward ratio. Okay, as you can see, it's a loser. Now let's look at some short examples. Okay, price goes under the 200 DMA. We have the MACD already under. We will wait for the MACD to cross down while the price is still under the 200 EMA. We get a cross down on this candle. Price is under the 200 EMA and the parabolic star is above the price. So it's going to be a valid short entry. We are going to set one to one risk to reward ratio. The risk is going to go for the parabolic star and as you can see, it's a winner. Let's look at another one. We get a cross down on this candle. Price is under the 200 EMA, but the parabolic star is under the price. So we will need to wait for a switch. And it happens on the next candle. We have the parabolic star over the price. The MACD is still giving us the sell signal and the price is under the 200 EMA, so it's a valid short entry. We set the uh, stop loss to the parabolic star and we target one to one risk to reward ratio. As you can see, it's a loser. Okay, I think that's it. Now let's get right into the strategy testing. If you like my videos, drop a like down below comment what strategies should I test next, and subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload the next testing video.
And the results are in. After 100 trades on the Euro USD pair on the 30 minute time frame with a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio, we get 48 winners, 52 losses. That gives us a negative 4% gain on the account. Most losers in a row was 7 and most wins in a row was 5. Time to, to complete was 133 days. As I said in the beginning, we were expecting a 70% win rate. That would be 70 winners and 30 losers. We did not get that, not even close. So what happened? In my opinion, a lot of these videos promising you high win rate and returns are most likely tested a lot more than 100 times to find a set of price data which gives the best results, completely misleading people. When I backtest, I choose a random starting point or even the beginning of a ranging market to get the normal or even worse market conditions possible. And that's how you see how a strategy really performs. And now we are going to test what method works better. Taking one trade at a time or taking a trade at every entry signal even if we are still in an open position. But just before that, some possible strategy improvements. The first one is not using parabolic SAR as your risk. I found 2 times ATR to be the best. The second one is recognizing overextended prices so you don't enter in an overextended market. And now let's see how the strategy performs taking every entry signal, not only one trade at a time. Let's get right into it. And we have the final results. First we took 100 trades from the original test starting point and we got 0% gain on the account which is better than the previous negative 4%. On the second results you can see we tested the same time intervals but of course taking one trade at a time gives less trades than taking every signal so I projected 100 trades from 58 total trades. And the end you can see the original test results. So, these results bring me to the conclusion. Better trading method in this case was taking every trade on every signal. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, drop a like down below, subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload the next testing video. If you have any ideas, tips or tricks, share with me in the comment section or through email. Thank you. See you next time.